Hey guys, welcome back to Amy's Art Alchemy. Today I just wanted to do a quick flip through of this prayer journal that I made for my friend Tessa. I repurposed this book. Um, it was The Secret of Effective Prayer by Shoemaker. So what I did, I just added some lace and ribbon detail at the bottom. This antique button. The closure goes around all the way around like this. Apologize, I'm trying to do this one handed. Here I just have a couple pockets on the cover. I'm going to go quick through this just because it's kind of personal prayers. Actually, I'm not going to take them out all the way, but there's a prayer in here. One in here that I just add some lace detail. And there's another pocket here. And I just put her name here. Lots of stitching and lots of lace in this journal. Just love all the little details. This page has the lace up at the top and then a flip up page that she can write on. One of her favorite hymns is Amazing Grace. So I have this from a vintage journal that I, uh, vintage hymnal, excuse me, that I um, actually did a coffee stain on and sewed it to the paper, added some stitch. And this is actually some dyed gauze. I added that on there. She can journal around a prayer on the back. Lots of little fabric clusters on each page just to give detail. This one says living for Jesus. Lots of room for writing. This was just a paper bag that I folded into the signature. We have a tag flipped out here. This is set my soul on fire and lead me Lord right there. And then there's also a tuck spot here. I need to put another tag right there so she knows that you can put something there. Different types of paper. This paper ruffle or pleat, I guess you call it. Some lace detail. Some handmade paper. Some dyed coffee paper with some lace trim on the edge. Another little paper cluster right there. Just took parts of the heel and put it on there. This is the other piece of that handmade paper, the other half. Here's the other half of that bag. This tag, I really like how this tag turned out. It's just corrugated cardboard. So many things you could do with that. Then she could journal on the back. Put that back in, in a minute. This I just added a little tab up at the top, just for some detail. And this is empty that she could just fill in if she has a prayer that's changing. A uh, prayer for a friend that uh, needs to be swapped out or a family member. She could just slide that in there. If she doesn't have a permanent prayer. She 
of scrap paper stitched in. Paper doily, like a tuck spot right there. This is just part of an envelope that I put a little, I shrunk a hem down and made it to this little size where she could journal on the back. I'll put that back in a minute as well. Another piece of handmade paper. This is uh, watercolor paper on this one. Some lace detail. I like how this turned out. This is actually some dyed ace wrap. <laughs> That is tracing paper, dyed ace wrap, masking tape, and part of a hem from the hem. Other piece of the hem paper. Lace detail. I like how this lace overlaps from pages. It's just gorgeous on the side. Heavy paper. A lot of room where she could go in and write her prayers. Oh, here's a bookmark that I put in. I had this little charm. So she could just move that wherever she needs. This one I just sewed in like a little flip booklet. But that was kind of cool. The other half of that paper, heavy paper. Just some lace trim on the side here. Here's the other half of that envelope. This one I made into a little booklet. I took the uh, side cut out of what comes in a journal and I saved that when I dyed the whole paper. And then I just layered it with that, stapled on some trim, and I made it into a little booklet that she could write on. Part of that doily, more pleated paper, apologize this isn't the best quality video, I had to use my phone in one hand. <laughs> This uh, is a vanilla folder that I made into a pocket. So I just put a title here, put some dyed tracing paper a trim there, and then I made a pocket here. And then I have this here with some trim and where she can journal on the back, write a prayer on the back. Here's more of that paper that I was talking about that comes on the side of a spiral with some more note cards inside for prayers. Another piece of lace trim. This is another one of her favorite songs, so I included the whole song on there. Another doily. This is actually the whole uh, dyed gauze thing that I used again. I need to slide something in there as well so she knows you can tuck it in. Of course, I'm sure she'll figure that out. Title there. Just another little trim edge here. It's another envelope that I just divided between signatures. Another heel that I just shrunk down to this size and 
stayed the edges so she could write on the back and then I added another card in there. This is a lace fabric flip up so if she has a personal prayer that she doesn't want to see all the time but you know go back to it could stay covered or it's also just for looks it's pretty and this is double flip up there another lace tab Get a paper and actually guys I should probably say the handmade paper that's in this isn't the handmade paper that I made um, Tessa had given me that paper to use before I had actually made a batch so that's what was in here I can't take credit for that some more lace and tied up at the top and that's the last page and then what I did here is I wanted a place marker that she could just move throughout the journal and so I have here a little envelope I put some velcro on it's got a little note paper here where she can write a prayer a pocket there I have a tag there. Then on the back, I have a pocket here and a pocket here. Here's more of that corrugated cardboard. And then I kept this open for a pocket so she could slide something down in there as well. So I really like this idea because she can move it throughout the journal. It doesn't have to stay in one particular spot. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can see future videos and tutorials along the way. Thank you.